Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are gonna discuss about how can we perform calculation in Python and how can we use mathematical tool in our programming language. So let's get started. Here is a chart. In this chart, you can see that there are two types of division in Python. Once a float and once integer division. So what is the difference between float and integer? We can perform these division by using these operators forward back backslash and double forward backslash. So how, what is the difference? Here if I perform float division by using a single forward slash like 4 divided by so if I run it so it gives answer always in decimal so if I use double forward slash instead of single so it becomes a integer division so if I run it so it never gives answer in decimal form so what is the difference between float and integer division the difference is that the float division always gives answer in decimal but integer division always gives answer in a whole number so here are more examples we can see like 8 divided by 9 so if I run it so all absolutely it gives answer in decimal form because I use float division so if I use integer division here so here is answer is 0 because we use integer division so here is in, in the chart we can see that there are more operators like this percentage operator act as a module so what is module it gives us just a remainder so how can we use it in our programming we can use it by here. if I uh, module 6 percentage 2 so the remainder here is 0 if I run it, yes, the remainder here is 0 because 6 is divis divisible by 2 because even number is divisible divisible by even number. So if I, instead of 6, if I write here 9, so there must be some remainder because an odd number cannot be divisible by an even number. So if I, yes, here is 1. So what we learn from module function? it helps us to identify the even and odd numbers in our programming language so if we again see the chart here is another function called exponent exponent means power so how what is this purpose so if i instead of percentage if i use double star so it act as a exponential function if i run it so 9, 9, 9 into 9 is 81. So it is 9 power 2. Here it is. Because this double percentage act as a power. Okay. If I use a single backslash now, we all know that it is the multiplication, simple multiplication occur here. So how, what, if we find the root of a number? So how can we find root of a number? We can find root as if I want to find 2 root of 0.5. So what is the value of root? Root value is 0.5. So by using this we can find root of any number. So if I run it, so here is a big value of it. So how can we round it? Here is a round function. We can round this value, round off this value because the after decimal the numbers are smaller than 5 so it becomes 1 if I round if I use round function here round function we can use to round off our larger decimal values like this okay if I use it so it becomes 1 but if I use instead of 2 I write 3 so it becomes 2 why because if I remove round function and then run it so here the after the decimal numbers are bigger than 5 so it round off in a 
incremental way not discremental way okay so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel thank you